we are going to go back through this drawing one more time. I'm going to start with my ultra or my fine point. I also have an ultra fine for some of the details. So we start with the loop of the face. Give it some markings, this little sloth mask. Hi there, amazing artists. Before we dive back into our awesome drawing tutorial, I've got a quick message for you. First of all, thanks for dropping by our channel. It means a lot to me. Whether you're a regular or first time here, we're thrilled to have you. Now, I wanna to talk to you about the format of our videos real quick before you continue on. Each drawing tutorial has two parts. And part one is where we go through the nitty gritty, step by step, sharing all my tips and tricks and details of creating that masterpiece. It's perfect if you wanna follow along and learn the ins and outs of the drawing process. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss our creative adventures. Now, let's jump back into that tutorial, part 208. If you're looking for step-by-step -step drawings and you want all the nitty gritty, be sure to head back to part one of this video before you watch the rest of part two. I'll see you there. Some eyeballs. Add eyelashes or eyebrows on top of these. This depends on the personality you want your guy to have or your girl. Them. You want to give them a cute little nose, and the mouth. We'll do the edges of his head. Well, mine's a him. Yours could be a girl. Connect to the bottom of the face. Add the hat brim. And I added some lines into mine after the fact to make it look like that stretchy fabric that a hat brim is usually made out of. We got the top of our hat. I think I'm going to leave the poof off. I didn't really love that. So I'm going to leave that off. That's why we start in pencil. I'm going to wait and outline the pattern once I am done with the big marker because I want to use my ultra fine for that. Next, we're going to add the scarf. I don't know where you live, but here in Michigan, we definitely need scarves this time of year. It's quite cold. We have the last back piece where it's flying in the air. Give him his little belly. And some arms. And the sides of his body and his legs. So cute. Then I added some little line back here for the horizon line. I'm going to swap to my ultra fine Sharpie and add these lines onto my ice. And my dots onto my scarf and hat. And I am obsessed with polka dots. It's my favorite print. Me and my students that take class with me 
always have a comment on that because they know I love book and bright bold colors. Like my little sloth will probably not be brown. But maybe. Who knows? It depends on how I feel. There's my adorable little sloth. I think I'm gonna add a couple of snowflakes in the background. I just did a big plus sign and an X. Added some circles on the end. Play with the twist of your snowflakes so they're not all going the same direction. You can have them coming off the edge of the page even. Kind of sneaking in behind your critter. And there you have an adorable winter sloth. I can't wait to see how yours turned out. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed this drawing and come back for another one soon or continue on with the different videos that are on your screen now. See ya.